Welcome to Rambam in Depth. Today we're going to focus on one of the halachas that we're learning during this week, the beginning of Hilchas Tefillah. And the Rambam writes, and he introduces the Hilchas Tefillah with the words, Mitzvah Saseh Lehispalo Bechol Yaim. There's a positive commandment to daven every day. Shenemar, because it says, V'yavadetes you shall serve God, your God. And our sages tell us, as the Rambam quotes, that what kind of service are we talking about? Avaida Salev Tfila. He brings another pasuk, and that's Avaida Shabalev Zutfila. Okay, so we have the sheet of the Rambam, and that Tfila is Minatera. And he starts the halacha with the words that it's a mitzvah esel is palo And commentaries ask, in many other places where he talks about a mitzvah, he doesn't introduce it, that it's a mitzvah to daven every, to, to uh, put on tefillin every day, for example. So why over here does he emphasize that it's a mitzvah esel is palo But the answer is very simple over here, because number one, nowhere does it say explicitly in the Torah, you should daven every day. It doesn't say you should daven, period. Ula'avda, you should serve God. It's a drash of the Gemara. So the Rama has to emphasize that that's true, that there is such an obligation. Secondly, other Rishenim, including the Ramban, make it very clear that the mitzvah of tefillah is midrabanan. There is no biblical obligation of tefillah, except if a person is in distress and they feel a need to daven to the Abishter, then they have a chiv, but there's no chiv to daven every day. It's all midrabanan. So the Rambam wants to negate that by saying, no, there's a mitzvah saseh, lispala b'chol yayim. One could ask a practical halacha question. According to the Rambam, that the mitzvah of tefillah is minatera, how do we count and the mitzvah of Tadavan is every day. How do we count the day? Do we count the day evening and then morning, as it is in Say the Bereshis, by Hiera Vayihi Baker? Or do we count the day that the night goes after the day? So, Bepashtus, when we look at the source of davening, the Gemara and Brachas tells us that either Tfilis were enacted by the Aves, or Tfilis take the place of Karbanis. Either way, the night follows the day, because when it comes to Avram, he was the one who instituted Shachris. He had Tzach Mincha and Yankov Meirib. So first came Shachris, then Mincha, then Meirib. The day, then the night. Karbanis, likewise, Karban Tamid is a Tamid Shal Shachar, the morning Tamid, and there's the afternoon Tamid, and at night they burn the Emurim, the fats and the limbs of the animal that had to be burnt. That's what we have, Shachris, Mincha, and Meirib. So there, the night follows the day. But that's the way it is when you have three tefillahs. That's Midra Bana. So my question is, what about Minatera? According to the Rambam, there's a mitzvah Minatera. What is the proper order? And what's the practical difference? What's the nafkemin halacha? A woman, according to the Rambam, according to that shita, only has to daven at one point during the day by saying some words of of Rachmi, invoking God's mercy, as the Alter Rebbe in the Shulchan Aruch, Simen Kuvav, says that based on the Svara of the Rambam, that most women have a minig that they don't daven Shmon Esri in the morning and the evening, but right away in the morning they say a bakasha, they make some request, a min hatera they fulfill their obligation min hatera. And according to this opinion, even the Chachamim perhaps didn't ask him to do more. So my question is like this, what happens if a woman didn't say any bakasha and she made no request during the day, but she did it at night? If we say the night follows the day, so she fulfilled her obligation for that day, and then she has to do it again the next day. But if you say the night comes before the day, she missed the mitzvah of that day, and what she did at night satisfies for the next day, and she doesn't have to do it again. Of course, it doesn't hurt to do it again, but she doesn't have to do it again. So to to resolve this question, I would like to cite a sicha of the Rebbe, the talk of the Rebbe printed in the Lakuta Sichas, where the Rebbe establishes 
that there are two different components to tefillah. The two components of tefillah determine how we look at tefillah. Do we go evening, morning, afternoon, or we go morning, afternoon, evening? Because there are sources for both. On one hand, we compare tefillah to karbanas, and there it's morning, afternoon, and evening, or the Aves of Ram Yitzchak and Yaakov. And on the other hand, it says in Tilim, Erev Avekev, it's Harayim. King David says evening, morning and afternoon, and in relation to tefillah. The Gemara uses that as an application to tefillah. So, which one is it? So the Rebbe says it depends on which component of tefillah we're talking about. We're talking about two components. One component is tefillah, is aveda, it's praise, you're serving Hashem, you're getting closer to Hashem, like a carbon. But then there's an aspect of tefillah, which is bakashas tzrach, where you're asking for your own personal needs. And the Rebbe proves from the Rambam that he holds that the main function of tefillah is actually bakasha tzrachav, asking for your needs. And the praises in the davening, the aveda, is to make you worthy to ask for those things that you need. But the main component of tefillah is bakasha tzrachav. But the Rebbe then explains that if tefillah is mainly aveda, or the aspect of tefillah that is aveda, then it's morning, afternoon, evening the way they did it, the Karbanis and the Beis Amigdash. But if the major component, or if we're focusing on the component of tefillah, which is bakash Srach of asking for your needs, then the needs are connected to my sebracious, to the act of creation. These are physical needs, part of the material world, and the world was created in a way that vahi erev, first is evening, then there's morning. So that aspect of tefillah, it's evening, morning, and then afternoon. Based on that analysis, it would seem that according to the Rambam, who focuses mainly on Bakash Tzrachav, therefore tefillah begins at night, morning and afternoon. Therefore, if a woman said that tefillah at night, according to the Rambam, there are other shittis, of course, but according to the Rambam, she would fulfill her obligation for the next day and not for the day that preceded it.